Here they are in the 10th race. Number one, Alfie, owned by Ron Michaelon and Alan Freeman of Chicago. Sam Widger will drive. 1A, Spy Hard, owned by Steve Newcomb, Ron Michaelon, and Jay Ingram, Illinois and Iowa, with Andy Miller. 2, Tavern Talk, owned by RJS Stable in New York, New York, with Brian Pitsky. 3, Fit for Life, owned by Brittany Farms and Val Deor Farm of New Jersey and New York, John Campbell in the bike. 4, Cohiba, owned by Nancy Vander Hayden and Nelson Townsend of Illinois, George Brennan Jr. in the sulky. 5, Grand Avenue, owned by Shapira Racing Stable Inc. and Tom Crouch of Michigan and Kentucky with Jay Picciano. And 6, Ludwig Pan Beethoven, owned by the Peter Pan Stable Inc. of Pepper Pike, Ohio, Anthony Morgan gets the call for the Hayes for three-year-olds, 10th race, 42,500 on the line. There at the post, the gate is rolling. Here they come. Alfie back off the gate. They're off and pacing between them. Cohiba for the lead. Outside him, Grand Avenue gets away next. Fit for Life is third. Tavern Talk four. Five on the outside is Spy Hard. Six on the inside, Alfie. And getting away, trailing Ludwig Pan Beethoven as that field powers around the turn, driving toward the quarter. On the inside with the lead, Cohiba. On the outside, there goes Grand Avenue. He races to the front. He gets the lead by a length, a length and a half, and drops in now for Picciano before the quarter. Second is Cohiba, and he'll tip right back to the outside maybe as they drive that way. Spy Hard is coming. They're off the quarter and 27-4 and out comes Cohiba. He's the new leader. Behind him, moving up is Spy Hard. He's now second. Along the rail, Grand Avenue is third. Fit for Life maintains fourth along the inside as they drive down the backstretch. Racing five, Tavern Talk. Six on the inside, Alfie. Seven and trailing Ludwig Pan Beethoven Field at the half and leading the way. Past that mark is Spy Hard. He makes a top for Miller as they reach that marker in 54-2. Rolling as they enter the upper turn. Spy Hard leads away. Second on the inside, Cohiba. Off the rail, here comes Grand Avenue. Fit for Life will follow him fourth. Racing fifth on the inside as they drive around the upper turn is Ludwig Pan and Beethoven, he's picking off pacers along the rail, moving on the inside. Racing six, Tavern Talk, seven and trailing now is Alfie as the field approaches three quarters. On the inside, Spyhart has the lead on the outside. Here comes Fit for Life. He's alongside the leader and the $400,000 winner on the outside. Challenges on the extreme outside, Ludwig Pan Beethoven joins the chase. Three quarters, 122-2. Going a big mile. They're in the lane. They drive to the wire. Ludwig Pan Beethoven up with a big challenge and on the inside as they drive this way, Fit for Life. Ludwig Pan Beethoven on the outside. Ludwig Pan Beethoven to the wire. He is going to win it by a neck. Fit for life, second, Tavern Talk, third. Alfie was uh, four, under the wire, five, was Cohiba, photo for six, Spy Hard, and Grand Avenue. Ludwig Pan Beethoven from last to first. Waiting to move into victory lane. Owned by the Peter Pan Stables Incorporated of Pepper Pike, Ohio. Trained by Ivan Sugg, giving Ivan his second winner. Winner yesterday afternoon, and back today with Ludwig Pan Beethoven. This re result is still unofficial. Morgan, confident of the win, guides Ludwig Pan Beethoven now into victory lane. And to make presentation when this result becomes entirely official is Corwin Nixon from Red Lion, Ohio, Corwin inducted into the Living Harness Racing Hall of Fame in 1992, the Ohio Hall of Fame earlier. The Ohio State Fair Hall of Fame is the chairman of the board of the U.S. Trotting Association, a longtime legislator in the state of Ohio, a man who has dedicated much of his life to the improvement and to the furthering of this great sport of harness racing. Corwin Nixon, we appreciate you being here.